Some community activists are leading the charge to have Alamo students break away from the Tri-City School District. But how does the Far San Juan Alamo School District feel about that? Action Force Ashley Custer reports from Hidalgo County. The idea of having the Tri-City uh, works is uh, so amazing. We, we have been helping in much way, but uh, right now, we feel that, that, that we are a big community and, and we need to be independent. Father Rene Angel with the Resurrection Catholic Church in Alamo wants to see the creation of Alamo ISD. He even started a petition and collected signatures back in February to see if residents would be interested in such a move. There is many people, thousands of people who agree on, the, on this project and say, well, this is what the people want and we go for it. But in order to do that, students and schools would have to break away from the far San Juan Alamo Independent School District. We reached out to PSJ ISD and while they did not tell us how they felt about the petition, they did tell us that there are 32,000 students in their district and that, quote, Far San Juan Alamo ISD is a state and national leader in creating more academic opportunities for all of our students. And our emphasis has been on quality and equity in facilities for every part of the community we serve, end quote. And there are smaller school districts that they are very successful and they have uh, recognized, they are recognized by the uh, TEA, and why not us? The pastor says he wants to see money from Alamo taxpayers stay in Alamo, going directly towards Alamo students. Why other people has to be putting their monies in us? And, and, and why we, we put our monies in somebody else? That, that's not fair. If we are a city, we have to be independent and, and, and dependent on our own money. Father in Hell feels the district is focusing resources in other cities. Not all the money is coming back. If you compare the buildings of FAR uh, with the buildings of Alamo, uh, Alamo has old buildings. But PSJ ISD says that's not true, saying, quote, the city of Alamo was the first of three communities to have older elementary campuses completely replaced. The district has invested significant funds in Alamo and it currently has amenities in place at middle schools that some of the middle schools in our other two cities are still waiting for. In fact, the district claims that of its eight schools located in Alamo, three of the older facilities were replaced by brand new campuses. But Father and Hal says wanting to break away and have Alamo ISD is nothing against the PSJ school district. It's more about sustainability and economic growth. It's so much money, millions and millions of, of dollars that, that the school brings and we can have taxes here in the, in, in the city and we can grow, as, um, you can grow, we are gonna grow ra rapidly. Yes, that's, that's, that's the point, we need to grow. In Alamo, Ashley Custer, Action 4 News. Angel hopes to have the issue placed on the ballot for taxpayers in 2016. He claims there are over 8,000 students from Alamo. The PSJ says it currently has just over 5,500 from Alamo right now.